want to take two minutes and 28 seconds today to talk about the number E. And I want to remind you that lots of numbers are used as are used as variables. So we could say 3x and x is our variable. We could say 3a where a is our variable. 5q, etc. And in those cases, those values, those alphanumeric values are used as variables. However, when you see the letter E, lowercase e, it should mean Euler's number. And Euler's number has an approximate value of 2.7182. It's irrational. It goes on and on and on and on without repeating. But I want to remind you, especially those of you who are in upper maths, this is a number. This is not a variable. In the same way pi is a number. Pi is equal to 3.14, etc. ad nauseum. But you don't see that value pi and think, oh, well, that's a variable. So E is not a variable. And this is what we find with E, that if we take N, so, so E is approximately equal to this value as N approaches infinity. When this N value gets bigger and bigger and bigger, E stops growing quickly. And if you do some math and you take, let n equal 1 million and solve that and then say, well, you know what, now I'm going to go let n equal 1 billion. The change in the size of the number e is infinitesimal. It can barely be seen at all. So e is worth about 2.71. So you watch this video and you're like, what did I get out of this? Stop using e as a variable. It's not a variable. Uh, some other gift for you. Uh, uh, Leonard Euler is a Swiss mathematician who lived between 1707 and 1783. Uh, he graduated from college when he was 15 years old. His, oh, oh, well, he had 13 kids, uh, which is kind of cool. What's really sad is that eight of them died. So uh, it's really, really terrible. He had a, was known for having a great memory. Uh, in 1730, he loses his vision in one of, in his right eye, in his right eye. And I can't remember how he lost. Oh, oh, I was through it like an infection or something. Uh, and then in 1771, he goes totally blind. He has cataracts or something, and he has eye surgery. So can you, if you imagine having eye surgery in the time of Benjamin Franklin, because they were uh, uh, alive in roughly the same time period. So uh, this guy is such a pro prolific writer. He wrote thousands and thousands of papers. He wrote so many papers that it was... Ye even years after he died, he was still he was still publishing because there was such a backlog, and he he publishes 220, 228 of his papers are published after he dies. I don't know how many papers you've published. I haven't published two hundred twenty eight in a lifetime, and this guy publishes two hundred twenty eight more after he dies. So there's your bit of information on Leonard Euler. I hope it's helpful. E is a number. E is a number. Good. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and your comments are always welcome.